Okay, so a basic factorization, okay? So before I get on to factorization though, I'd like to very quickly recap expanding brackets. Okay, just as a recap. Now I know I've got a video on this, hopefully you've seen it, but just to recap, just want to show you how we expand. Well, we do two times x is two x, two times five is 10, expanded, done. Just another one over here, three times y is three y, three times minus four is minus two, done, expanded. Well, you're probably thinking that, well, it, you don't need to expand because you just want to factorize. Well, factorize is the opposite or the inverse of expanding brackets. So think of it as I'm going to give you this part, okay, you then need to calculate the answer by putting it back into brackets, okay? So we're picking this up, we are taking something out to put it on the outside, and then working out the gaps in the middle. So, if I then had an expression like 5x plus 10, we then need to put it into a bracket. Okay, so I've got 5x plus 10. Well, there are a couple of numbers that go into both of those. Okay, but I want to pick the biggest, okay, the highest common factor. Well, the highest common factor of 5x and 10 is 5. Okay, so that 5 there is our highest common factor. Now I've got to fill in the gaps in here. Well, 5 times x is 5x, and then 5 times 2 is 10. So just to check, 5 times x, is that 5x? Yes, it is. And then 5 times 2, is it 10? Yes, it is. So then this part here is our answer because we have factorised this by putting it into a bracket. Okay, so then if I wanted to factorise, let's say, uh, 6x plus 9, let's pick our highest common factor of 6x and 9, which is 3. So I'm looking at the 6x first. 3 times 2 is 6. Oh, but I haven't used this x yet. So 3 times 2x must be 6x. And then 3 times 3 must be 9. Let's just check it. 3 times 2x is 6x. Yes, that's right. 3 times 3 is 9. Done. Factorised. Okay. These expressions are quite, quite nice, easy numbers. Okay. Now, this highest common factor and this highest common factor could be a letter, it could be a number, it could also be both. Okay, now let me show you where both comes into play here. So if I had now, uh, let's have 4x squared plus 6x. Okay, so we're going to put that into a bracket, we're going to factorise into the bracket. So let's look at the numbers first. What's the highest common factor of 2 and 6? And sorry, 4 and 6 has to be 2. Do I have any other common factors? Yes, I do. I have an x. Okay, there's no squared on here, otherwise the squared would be the common factor. Okay, the highest common factor, but it's not. I've got two x's here, well, an x squared here, and one x there. So an x is common in both of them. Just to show you, this 4x squared is 4 times x times x. This 6x here, is six times x okay you can clearly see i have got an x in both not an x squared okay and obviously a two goes into both four and six as well okay so i have two x here on the outside that's my highest common factor now i've got to fill in the middle of the bracket here well to get from two x to four x squared i've got to multiply it by two first of all to get the four and if i've got an x by the next squared then i must need to multiply it by another x Remember, x times x is x squared. And then here, 2x multiplied by something equals 6x has to be 3. Remember, just to check, let's expand. 2x times 2x is 4x squared plus 2x times 3. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, so 2 times 2x times 3 must be 6x. Is that the same as that? Yes, it is. Fantastic we have factorised correctly. So how about then if we have different letters in both? How about if we had 6x squared y plus 
18xy. Okay, so let's look at the numbers first. What's the highest common factor of 6 and 18? Well, that has to be 6. Okay, well, I've got x squared here and an x there. So that means I've got an x in both, not x squared, because that's, this one's not squared. I've also got a y in both. So that is common. So that one's going on the outside. So 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so I'll leave that off for now. I've got an x, but I need an x squared, so I need to times that by x. And y times 1 is y. So I just need an x there. Plus, right, so 6 times 3 is 18. I've got an x and I've got a y. So that means it's fully fa uh, factorised. Let's just expand just to check. 6xy times x is 6x squared y plus, right, so times all of this by 3. Well, 6 times 3 is 18. So 6xy times 3 must be 18xy. Okay. So just to very, very quickly recap, the most important part is this bit here. This is our highest common factor. It could be a number, a letter, or both. Okay, and our checking mechanism is to expand. If when you expand it as a checking part, if it's not exactly the same as that, you know you've made a mistake somewhere, okay? So the best advice would be to check your highest common factor. Yes, this one is a very, very tricky one. However, you might want to start with these first until you get more confident and then build up the layers as you go. Highest common factor, fill in the gaps, expand, check. Hope it helps.